Hey guys, being here. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, in place math. So we're going to model some uh, in place uh, basic mathing. So first, let's create a project. So go to uh, architecture component model in place, and then let's. Mathing, mathing. But before that, let me just create a generic model. Um, I want to do a screenshot of this, so I know what we need to do in the mathing. Okay, so let's finish this model and then start a new. Math. Okay. Okay. So now let's have a look. Yeah. So first, extrusion. In mathing. So uh uh and before that, I'm going to talk about the model line and the reference line. So if if you draw some model line, and then you create a form. So the model line. If I go to three D this. And the model line is no longer there. So once you create a form, the so model line is gone. So if you create some uh, reference line, and you can create a for form from them, and then you still have these reference lines. So you can pick one, drag them, or edit parameter, uh, edit dimension, then create the, uh, parameters. Okay, so Normally, I would use reference line for all of my um, in-place mapping. Okay, so first, let's go back to here. So extrusion reference line. So ex in mapping, you can just draw a line and ex ex make an extrusion, which is a face. Okay, so you can then you can. Uh, Drag it or even create profile, then so okay, and then you can also do a closed uh, shape. So, for example, this one, and then ex create form extrusion, and the same you can unlock this, and then you can. Maybe rotate and maybe a uh, scale re and also add profile. And then you can uh, do all all sort of change. Yeah. So um, what else? Let's yeah. Or even spline. You can do. Create form, and it can also add profile. Okay, so that's that's uh, the first one. Extrusion, so blend. So pr it's pretty much in massing. It's pretty much the same. So you can do extrusion first, and then change the shape, or you can. So let's try. So um, always draw on. Uh, Draw our work plan. So set work plan, ground floor, for example, a circle here, and then a rectangle set work plan level one. Yeah, and then select run create form. Okay, and then you can also um. Select this uh, and then adjust them. R O, okay, yep, something like that. Okay, so now this one's finished as well. And then revolve, okay. Revol revolve, revolve. Um, a very uh, a simple example. Revolve a sphere to draw a. Reference line 
and arc let's pick uh, ground floor so half circle and then draw another reference line and then select done so that's a sphere yeah so and also you can do even if you draw two uh, straight line and then select them create form so you will have an option to um, revolve one line around the other or uh, revolve this one around this one okay so um, you can do something like maybe a line and then draw another straight line here and then select them and then revolve yeah um yeah and also you can do a closed uh shape for example a circle and then a line here select them create form Yeah, I think that's it. So let's sweep. Okay, so sweep reference line. So draw, let's draw a path and then profile. So point, draw on face here, and then the shape, um, maybe circle, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this work plan and then draw a profile so here I'm going to create a radius dimension and then create a um, parameter okay so and then select this profile and this path create form so that's a sweep and also I'm going to show you uh, because I have the parameter here if I change this parameter, let's see what happened. So you can see this uh, beginning and the, the end of this sweep, it won't change the size. So what we need to do is uh, I'll delete this uh, sweep and then uh, CC, copy this one and select this point and pick new host pick here so now select this one oh sorry select this point and move this to zero and select this point move it to one and now we have two profiles in the path i create a form so if i change this uh, radius so the whole sweep will change um, properly. So okay, so that's the sweep. Um, sweep. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Sweep. Okay, let's have a look. The last one, sweep plan. Um, yes, yeah, similar. So let me just copy this. Okay, and then I'll also copy. Temporary height. I'll copy this point. This point, the pro the point I place the profile and together with uh, this profile. CC. So now I'll pick new holes. Pick it here. I'll copy this one to here and uh, pick new holes. So this one I'll maybe change the size. And then select uh, this and create form. So this will be the uh, sweet swept blend, swept blend. So you can also try um, maybe try different different shape. Uh, maybe try this set work plan. Oh, sorry, set work plan. And then maybe try let's try this 
and C. And always see the black lines, model line, and always uh, uh, turn them into reference line. So one profile, two profile, pro uh, and part. So something like this. And of course you can you can move the point to here or or zero point five in the middle, something like that. Okay. HR. So now let's have a look at this. This one's done. So last one, void. Um, pretty much everything here. You can select them and change them into a void just by clicking on here. Okay, so like this. And also, um, if I if I draw a let's say uh, let's let's um, let's do a some example, maybe just make a box. Okay, so create this rectangle grid form. So this is a solid box. So if I want to um, draw avoid from from this side okay so reference uh, maybe a circle and then set work plan and pick this face and then draw a, the shape okay and then select this reference line create a form and that's void so you can create void form so this is a solid void this is a void face okay so normally you do this one and then you can drag you can uh, either adjust adjust it here so like so go this way and this one should go the other way and then if you click here so it will uh, automatic cut the solid you can also still uh, try to click on this one and then drag to cut it through this okay so let's do another one set work plan on top and draw something and this time i'm going to create create a so solid because it's easier to um, sometimes you want to adjust the shape or adjust, adjust the size so for example, if I do it, uh, scale it, rotate it, and then tab select. Um, I need to tab select the the face. Tab select this one. Oh no. Maybe I'll do this one. Okay, so go down. Yeah. And then once I'm happy, I can turn it into a void, and then see the automatic cut this box. Okay, so this is a void. So uh, the last one I'm going to show you is um, if 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 you use uh, SketchUp, so you will know in SketchUp it's if it the you normally start with lines and once you close in SketchUp it will automatically create a face but in Revit you need to create form and pick this one so this is a face and then you can pull this up just like SketchUp so and if you unlock this one you can do all these change you can also move one of the edge so um, yeah so it's uh, it's very similar to SketchUp and also you can select one of the face and create form and you can select the side face create form and and create another form and 
the form. So yeah, you can just change the sh uh, shape to whatever you like. And then you can also, um, sometimes you want to join them. And then sometimes you want, maybe you want to cut a hole somewhere. Create a vo void. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much uh, most of the basic stuff. So um, if you have any questions, just let me know and uh, I'll see you next time.